And welcome back, guys. So, what am I thinking right now? I'm thinking about moving this garage. And by the way, there's nine days until wipe. I'm thinking about moving it. You're like, uh-oh. Dark Angel, why are you thinking about moving it? Well, one, when you drive in, you get stuck here. I could just make it so you could turn around here. But it's not exactly lined up with the bridge. So if you remember in the last video, I oopsied on this portion of the bridge, which I quickly fixed, of course. Um, the easiest way would have been, before I added on that structure there, would be to make the bridge go straight instead of diagonal. But, hey, it's already got all this work done to it. The easiest thing it would be to move the... Uh, the car garage. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I want to make it so that there's multiple buildings here. Why? Well, supposedly at the end of the wipe, like the day it, about, the day it wipes, they basically lift all the rules, kind of like what other RP servers do. And basically what they do is they allow you to go around raiding people on the last day. I'm just like, well, I'm going to find plenty of places to hide. <laughs> or plenty of places to spawn into. So, that's why I'm thinking, hmm. Building here. I'll put a building on the other side. And make it, basically make this bridge worth using. So, what I'm thinking of doing, if I move my car garage over here and I do the same furnace system set up or I could leave it outside um, what I can do is I can make it so that I pull out of the garage and drive right onto here mm. I don't know let's go get some wood let's go trace it out I might need a scuba diving kit you know what? Let me just go grab a scuba diving kit real quick. Where's the scrap at? I knew it saw some. How much? Diving tank, 35 scrap. Too much stone. Too much. So. Yeah, it's going to be a waste of a building because I just put this new add on today or last night. But if I move it, it will be more convenient. The only downside to this is my wire purification system would have to move too. Oh god, I have to go for that shit again. Um You know what? I'm just gonna go get the build materials. Ah oh, shit, I'm still gonna have to go inside that building. Don't mind me, I'm just thinking.
And then maybe I'll move this building on the other side of the wire. This way, I have to go over a little bridge to get to the base. But I'm, you know, I'm thinking. I hear a pig. That'd be my way. Get out of here. Probably shouldn't have done that. Gotta wait 49 seconds. So yeah, I'm thinking about moving both bases so that it's, you know, squared off. I'll put the base where I do all the farming on the other side, that little triangle part. And I'll make it so that it is... Uh, you can get over the bridge type thing. See where the little food shop is, that wood base there? Make it so that there's another connection point there going out towards sea. Make it so I can turn from there into the garage bay. And then I'll probably put the furnaces on both sides of the uh, pathway. Therefore utilizing it and making it more useful. Should have just done that in the start, but... You know what? This is why you have extra materials on hand and do that. <laughs> I have a feeling I might have to go chop down more wood. I chopped down that entire forest and it grew overnight. I'm like, nee! I mean, it's a good thing, but it's also, you know, if you wanted to see that entire force gone, not come back, it's just like, ring. be making a stone. Wow, the stone nodes have come back right. I just farmed that entire mountain. Like, I just farmed everything in this area and they're already respawning. That's a good thing. Alrighty. So if we don't do the new add-on for furnaces, like, kind of wishing I didn't do the add-on, which it looks cool, but I don't know. It's just kind of a pain in the, pain in the butt now. <laughs> so I have to take into consideration two width-wise for the road. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six by four. Notepad four, and this is going to be length is six.
One, two, three, four. And then this, this, this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. I guess we go play around in the water. So it's pretty easy to make an access point. I have this all on remote switches, so it makes it so much easier. A little gap there, car can go right over it, no problem. So now we gotta open one of these up. Slash. And if the server does not have slash remover, oh crap, I gotta go get me a uh, stone. You know what? I can just grab some out of here. I just have to remember the refill. So right here. So let's remove. All right, let's add up. So what I'm doing is I'm zoning this section by section. By doing this, is lowering the upkeep per zone. Therefore, if someone were to raid one of your tool cabinets, it doesn't take the whole thing down with it. Basically. You look at me, how the hell did you manage to do that? I'm very good at what I do. Oh no, I'm out of zone. Oh. Let me go get some more. I wasn't expecting they need to use stone yet. People be looking over there like, what you building? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, this will also allow me to reconfigure where I have the purifying units. This way I can have it towards the land and not towards the water. Or though I should have it towards the water. I don't know. Put that there. I think I have too much wood. What? I'm just gonna do this. This way I can grab what I need. And not have to make multiple trips back and forth. Sounds like a good idea to me. Like, look at all those poor trees you destroyed. Yes, yes, I know. It's so terrible. Yeah, 
tree hugger be like, you bastard. I'll be like, I needed wood, man. It requires us to build. He looks at me like, you bastard. How dare you? How could you? No, <laughs> I looked over like this is what makes the world go around though, doesn't it? He looks at me like you bastard. There's a cute innocent tree. <laughs> oh no, man. Mm -mm. It wasn't cute and innocent when I went to chop it though. It sounded like a good idea. I could pull through real quick and depot, but now I'm kind of regretting it because I gotta back out of this. I don't know. Maybe I'll still add this in. A uh, little pull through, dump off what you got, and then pull through on the new build, but I haven't decided. here and resupply this. I'm surprised I haven't been yelled at by admin yet regarding this bridge and all this stuff over here. Although I'm probably jinxing myself. Why would I say I'm surprised? Well it says in the rules if something starts to lag the performance of the server that they have the right to remove it apparently. And I'm looking at it I'm like Okay, it doesn't tell you how big you can build and like how much of what you need. They have a limit on like how many planters you can have. That's pretty much it. Alrighty, so how to do an add-on. Do this, this. it to be two away and then we'll do a door here here now just as temporary I'm going to go ahead and put a TC here so this doesn't decay Don't you kind of worry about the waves? Not really. Let's wait for this to go down and boop, there we go. <laughs> How'd you do that? Magic.
four width wise is six. So four this way. Ugh, I'm trying to regret how I'm going to flip the building. Because I want the wire treatment stuff over that way. Hmm. This is going to be the exit point instead of going all the way around. Go ahead and start building it. Two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, why is this taking me forever? Usually it would do stilts, but this is going to be an asshole functioning base, so I want to make sure that people don't abuse that. Oops.
feel like this is going to be expensive. Absolutely. This is why it's going to have stone reserves. Windows. As long as the wave doesn't come by, I'll be fine. <laughs> You know, like a little wire in your base. <laughs> Look at me like, what the hell, man? I'm gonna leave these like this so that I know that's where I want my connection point to the main base when I move it over there. Show you how easy this is. Just drive it right over there. A little prop to get in there. Once I have that other bridge access point here, I'll make that turn easier. So, you get the idea.
Oh no, it's becoming nighttime. Not good. Make sure that's all stoned up. Just so that's connected. Good, I can finally show you guys what it looks like at night here. So this might work out pretty nice. Let me think about this for a second. I can put the furnace root base down this way a bit. And make it only individual base. I know, you're looking at me like, how the hell is that going to work? First, I gotta get furnaces so I can see how it works, but. It's definitely doable. First, we gotta wait for night time to go away. Beastie. Also, makes it so I can put the car lift over here. Although, I'm still gonna probably put it over here because it just doesn't get in the way. Then I'm going to have to redo my lighting. Turn lights on. Got one of those spidey feelings that someone might try to roll the car off. So let's do this. All right, let's turn the lights on. It's pretty much what it's going to be like when I. Turn stuff on over here. That base over there is so jealous. I'm pretty sure they'll be the ones that raid me first. Like, hey, what do you have for stuff? And I go, oh, just raise horses. You're like, that's all you had? Yeah. Couldn't have told you that. Uh, so, on the 20th, the server wipes. Apparently. Nope. And that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.